Hi and welcome to Electrical Engineering Planet and in this video we will learn what is the lander motor or two speed motor also we will learn how to connect it as double star or delta so consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community also don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world <music> Here in this special three phase induction motor, as you can see that we have six windings with six different ends, one U, one V, one W, two U, two V, two W. In this motor nameplate, you will find that this motor could have two different speeds. First speed, 1466 RPM in case of star star connection. And the second speed is 741 RPM in case of delta connection. Actually, the idea behind this motor is when we change the connection, we change also number of poles in the stator of motor. Here in this formula, as you can see, the synchronous speed NS is equal to 120 times the frequency over number of poles. So, in case of delta connection, here as you can see, we will connect the power supply to 1U, 1V, 1W. Here we will get 8 poles. So, inside this formula, we will find that the synchronous speed will equal to 750 RPM. But in case of double star connection, we will only get 4 poles. So, the synchronous speed will equal to 1500 RPM. Perfect. Now let's see how to connect the motor as star star or delta. At first, if we connect it as delta, we will get the low speed because we will get here eight poles. So as you can see here, this is the motor connection from inside and this is our junction box. So if we connect the power supply L1, L2, L3 to 1U, 1V, 1W, so as you can see, it's connected L1 to 1U, L2 to 1V, L3 to 1W. This is a delta connection, which has the low speed feature. But what if we want to connect it as star star connection or double star connection? Here we will get the high speed feature, but we have to connect it in a different way. Here, as you can see, the power supply will be connected to 2U, 2V, 2W. Also, we will connect 1U, 1V, 1W together as one point. So as you can see inside the junction box, we will connect L1, L2, L3, 2, 2U, 2V, 2W. And we will connect 1U, 1V, 1W together. So at this time, we will get this shape. Here it's obvious, more obvious here. As you can see, we have two parallel windings in a star shape. So it's a double star connection. But we have to know that the delta connection is not very good actually, because it has low efficiency and low power factor. Here, as you can see, it has a low power factor. And also it has a low kilowatt output power or mechanical power. So this means that you will get a high input power as you can see the same current of star star but you will never get the output mechanical power as the star star because it has a lower efficiency so the delta connection is not very good and nowadays we are using an ordinary induction motor and we will connect a variable speed drive for it to control the speed and at the same time, we will get a very good efficiency. So you have to know that the delta connection has a lower efficiency and lower power factor. In the next video, we will learn how to use Automation Studio software to connect the two-speed motor or the lander motor. So consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, 
like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching